Looking for couples camping with a nice chunk of space and a big king bed? Stay tuned, you're gonna like what you see here. Hey everybody, Josh RV Nerd here with Fish's RV. I'm out in Iowa today and they call Chicago the Windy City, but oh my lord, Iowa is just constantly, constant breeze and wind out here. That being said, it actually feels kind of refreshing. Uh, today we have with us the 253RB Sunset Trail. This is, uh, this is a brand that I, I've uh, wanted to get on the channel for quite some time. I'm really excited. This is my first brand new Sunset Trail I've ever been able to bring to you. Um, this One of the reasons I, I really want to get this model in particular is because it's kind of a classic layout that a lot of the market doesn't do something exactly like this anymore. A big rear bathroom with the camp kitchen and a super slide because most of them used to do this neck crank, neck wrecker entertainment center and Sunset Trail fixed it. Instead, what we have is a walk-in pantry entertainment center right next to the door, TV on Boardwalk and Park Place straight across from either a hide -a bed or a theater seat, so it's always easy breezy viewing here. But um, you are, uh, you know, you get a big bathroom, you get nice living space, you get good storage, you have a big king bed in something that, with the right kind of pickup, could be half ton towable. Now, half ton towability can vary from vehicle to vehicle. I always wanna make sure we're putting your safety before the sale. So if you're not sure what your truck can handle, make sure you give our team a call. We'll make sure that we get you matched up. Especially out here where it's windy. You might need a little more truck than Flatland, Michigan, where I'm from, where we don't typically get this kind of wind. That's where sometimes having a local person can always make a difference. There's some stuff on this that I love. I like the king bed. Um, you have your choice between refrigerators, so nobody can be disappointed by that. Uh, it is carpetless, which is really nice, but there's a couple little hiccups. Like there's a few things in the bathroom. There's a few things here and there that I, I think might trip some people up. And those are the, the things that I also want to bring to light in this video. Show you where she shines, show, show you maybe where you want to consider it. And uh, let me know what you think about it. Because again, this is my first sunset trail. L uh, let me know where uh, you love it. Let me know where you think they could improve. Maybe I have some suggestions, ideas. Maybe they have a different floor plan. Maybe we have a totally different manufacturer lineup we can assist you with whatever the case let's start finding out so you can let me know so i can let you know so we can let it well this fell apart and are you down with hcb and by that i mean holy crap batman because holy crap batman is the optional solar package on this a beast i'm running every light in this thing now admit it, i do not have the refrigerator on this it has a 12 volt compressor fridge you have an option for a two-way we'll get to that in a minute but i've got every light in this thing screaming and it's charging my battery box on the front of this rv like quickly so uh first of all first impressions uh i'd love to hear from you also but my uh thing i like the look sunset trails sometimes used to look a little flat they used to they visibly looked a little chintz to me sometimes and i'm not getting that feeling here anymore um this is definitely in the in the world of ultralight rving although that being said um i think that this is starting to flirt with the uh the premium side of things there's a couple things that don't totally get there for me but i'm gonna call it like an ultralight plus if you will um, some, some awesome features. So first of all, I'm sitting at the theater seat, although there is a hide a bed option uh, available. You have your choice between the two. But the left-hand seat puts you straight across from the door. Now, uh, I like to tell you the good with the bad. This RV is very limited in door side window coverage, but it's got a monster patio awning and camp kitchen space. Obviously has motion lighting right there. Um, if you're looking to be able to see outside, I think you're going to spend more of your time outside instead of inside. We're going to come back in a minute. We're going to get all of this opened up. But if I shift you over to the position of the other theater seat, you see you are truly on Boardwalk and Park Place right there. Um, one little nitpick, although in a non-bunkhouse, I don't really fault them too hard for this. The control panel is down a little bit low where little fingers can get to it, but it's not like you've got a whole gaggle full of kids running around this thing. Um, probably not most of the time anyway. Um, that being said, if you, uh, take a look over here, you see these nice big windows. They all open for breeze, including the sli uh, slide side windows there we go and every time i say febreze i think it sounds like febreze anyway what's your favorite scent of febreze i don't know but this dinette uh here you have your choice between a table and chairs or a dinette and then 
you've got these, um, <laughs> what do you want to call these? Tubs, drawers, they're, they're, they're drawers. <laughs> They, they act, they're actually plastic ABS tubs, but they slide in and out like drawers. And did you notice how they got rid of all of the carpeting in here? Um, except for the carpet square where I'm wiping my feet currently. There's always one person that has to say, yes, but what about the carpet by the door? Yes, okay, yes, there's carpet on the floor by the door, but it's a loose piece of carpet. There's no mounted carpet in the RV. Can we all get off the semantic chain for a minute? Um, let's talk interior sizing. This is one of those areas that absolutely drives me nuts. If somebody ever says, oh, it has like a six foot 10 ceiling, get away from them, get away from them. They're telling you only what is advantageous for them to, to sell you something, not the truth. The truth is this has a six and a half foot sidewall. It vaults up about four inches to six ten, sure, but it's a vaulted ceiling. So it's a variant height. What's cool about vaulted ceilings, because they're vaulted inside and outside, um, you have even insulation all the way through, so you don't have more insulation here and then less insulation here. Have you ever seen an old used RV that has like crinkly wallpaper near the roof line? You're thinking, oh, it had a leak. It didn't have a leak. It frosted and then the frost melted and that created the Rice Krispie crinkle spot right there. Um, the kitchen in this isn't bad. The counter space is limited, but... They did uh, just, they did a serious job with the storage, starting with the walk-in pantry tainment center. And where I've had gripes or concerns with this camper, it's largely been little nitpick stuff. Like by the entry door, we have a motion light. That is not a motion light. Um, and the reason that that's a nitpick for me is when this door shut, you might not realize that that light is on because they did a nice job of fully framing it out. So it could be a battery drain if you're boondocking and not realizing it. Motion lights, you don't have that issue. Now, they did something here really smart. They they went with only partial depth uh, shelving right here. But notice how, uh, you know, you have that, that power outlet there and all this space over on the right. You smart viewers, smarter than me, have uh, well opened my eyes to the fact that that is the perfect place to like um, put a, uh, a little rechargeable vacuum cleaner if you want to. Because this is carpetless, you could probably just sweep it out, swiffer up, rawhide, whatever you need. Now, the kitchen and the entertainment kind of intermingle with one another here. Um, anytime I hear the word intermingle, by the way, I think of Polly Shore from the movie uh, Son-in-Law, which is easily the greatest of the Polly Shore movies. Fight me on that. Although in the army now is not terrible, but son-in-law is amazing. And he like wiggles his arms like, interweave him. Yeah, wow. I don't know. I'm talking about Polly Shore over here. Sorry. Um, uh, cabinetry. You can always do the reach back test. And what you're going to feel here is pocket screws. Um, another thing I like to show you, this is a handy little tip. When you are camper shopping, how do you know if the cabinet is big enough to hold a dinner plate? You grab the, uh, the, the microwave uh, tray and you can slide it in there. And look at how suddenly you realize, ooh, now I understand how big that space is. Um, this is a nice wraparound backsplash, except they didn't wrap it around all the way. But frankly, other than brands like Northwood and Lance, it seems like almost nobody does. Solid surface counters was, in a way, a surprising find. And something I want to showcase for you here. As we go through the RV, watch for these little yellow lightning bolts. Those are telling you that those outlets are pre-prepped to an inverter, but you can also get the optional solar and inverter package, which the RV we're looking at today has. Um, and uh, that thing has a 2000 watt inverter. So if you actually want to run coffee makers and stuff, you could. Again, if I'm being nitpicky, I sort of wish they would have put a little bit of a vertical divider right there and put a wastebasket space over there. But that's, I mean, I've had to get kind of snarky to find stuff to, to sharpshoot on this floor plan. This, I mean, this is a great camper. And once again, what we're looking at right there is the 12 volt DC compressor fridge. Um, with the 380 watt factory roof solar package, you may be able to uh, out muscle uh, that refrigerator right there for boondocking purposes. Now that's definitely going to vary by weather conditions, but 
Um, the fact is, they're putting nearly 400 watts of solar on this with the optional package, and there's an uh, ability to expand it further that we'll talk about near the end of the video if you're curious. Um, again, little nitpicks, because the bathroom's nice. I mean, first of all, very nice leg space. I was very comfortable in here. This is super fluffy friendly right there. Um, it's a plastic toilet, and because everything else in the RV is so nice, that almost feels out of place. And I suppose the biggest critique I have on them is that they did so nice everywhere else, that felt wrong to me. But thankfully, that's not a really hard thing to change. Now, once again, that vaulted ceiling, one of the benefits of it is um, since they placed the shower head on the inside, like toward the middle of the camper, and that skylight up there, plenty of headroom in there. Um, also, you can see over here, we've got some floor-to-ceiling storage, and this kind of stuff is one of the things that I really like on this model because it's again this is kind of a classic floor plan where instead of the entertainment center blocking the bed where you have to do a 90 degree neck crank they move the entertainment center across from the slide which also opens up the bedroom and makes it feel nice and big but you've got a huge bathroom with awesome storage and in terms of storage you get galorage uh levels of it because above the camp kitchen, you have this big, giant space. Now, again, if I'm being nitpicky, there's no lighting in here. But, like, that's, that's I don't know. That's, that's, that's a, to me, that's a pretty small nitpick. I did not mean to close that and make quite that much noise. All right, so whipping our way around here. Well, whipping our way nice and slow. I try to move slow so as to not make people sick, obviously. Um... This model is, you know, it, you look at it, you're like, man, it's begging for a fireplace. That is one of the things, the way that the kitchen and the entertainment overlap, there's not an option for a fireplace there because that's where you have drawers and storage. That's also where you have a, a forced air heat duct coming out that black circle because this is um, ventless flooring for the most part. You will see a floor vent in the bedroom. Actually, you can kind of see it right up there, but it's out of the way. Basically, it's kind of off, uh, off to the side a little bit. Another thing is, if you're over here by the dining area, well, you can enjoy TV too. Because that's what's kind of cool here. Let me actually slide to the left, crawl into the dining, and there's the look right there. Still not a neck wrecker. And if somebody, like if you're watching the big game or something like that, or you're watching Wheel of Fortune, which is, I'm sorry. I know that those game shows are like monitored for fairness, but that show is the most rigged nonsense. Somebody ever hits the million dollar wedge. You ever notice how one or two turns later, buddy, they're going to hit bankrupt. They are never going to win that million dollars. That show is rigged beyond belief. Why am I talking about Wheel of Fortune? First Pauly Shore, now Wheel of Fortune. What if Pauly Shore hosted Wheel of Fortune? Oh, the weasel. That'd be amazing. Um, what do you think of the colors? They're, they're light, they're neutral, but like they're not so light that I feel like every little thing that I touch on this is going to show. Um, what do we call this? Like a taupe, a sandstone? I like it. I like that color. It's reading nice to me. Again, we're looking at the wall-hugging theater option over here. You do have a trifold sleeper sofa if you want to maximize your guest storage. And that trifold will swing out. It'll kick out only a little bit past where I've got that extended currently. So it doesn't cut the camper off. Now, this is where I say, actually, what's funny? You know how history repeats itself? People who've been in, uh, you know, camping for years or in the industry. Remember how Fleetwood used to do exactly this? With the twin sliding pocket privacy doors uh, closing off the master bedroom, you can kind of see the latchback hardware for them right there, by the way. Um, it, it makes the RV look and feel nice and big and expansive. Now, this is kind of funny to me. They put a little bone down here that says pet station. What am I supposed to do? Shove a Doberman in there? I, I, I don't know. Maybe I can put a pet bed down in there, but it's not exactly tall enough to get a dog in there. Um, also, 70 by 80 king bed on these. That is something that a lot of people keep asking. Why can't I get king beds in these? And the thing is, if it's a king bed, you can always size down to a 60 by 80 queen if you are uh, so inclined. Um, I also want to showcase for you up here uh, around the, uh, the corner. I love it when manufacturers do this. I absolutely love it. I wish this would become the standard thing with these trailers. Give me these headboard side pocket shelves, household and USB outlets on uh, both sides of the bed. Yes, please. Yes, please. Now you might notice there's a little switch up there above the bed. 
You ever wonder how Smurfs maintain that radiant blue glow? Well, a little bit more of that, and I'd end up turning into Violet Beauregard from Willy Wonka, and they'd have to juice me. Anyway, um, so a couple little nitpicks here again. Like, I, I like that um, they still get us decent hanging storage. This RV overall is light on hanging storage, though. But you notice how the bed's crooked? They did something here manufacturers keep doing, and it keeps annoying me. They gave it only one gas drop below the bed. Y yeah, okay, it's holding the mattress up. I guess it's just enough. I don't like it. I don't like it. I want a strut on both sides. Now, here's the thing. If that missing a strut is the only thing making you say, eh, no thanks, call us. We'll put a strut on it. That's not hard. It's interesting, though, that there's dual um, storage split right here. Like, I don't know. Like, how, what would you pack under this? I'm kind of curious because apparently we're shoving a dog uh, under that thing. I don't know. The other little thing is I like, uh, I couldn't decide if I wanted to say like or love, so I, I came out with derp. Um, I like that they gave us a cabinet over the bed. A couple little struts there wouldn't hurt, but again, that's easy stuff. Ooh, by the way, you see this, uh, this vent up here? You've got options. So by default, this is a 30 amp camper with a 13,500 BTU uh, roof air conditioner that's centralized. Um, you have the option of upgrading the single air that I'm looking at right here to a 15,000. You also have the option of bulking the RV up to 50 amp service. And if you do that, you can add a second 13,500 BTU uh, air conditioner in the bedroom. So if I'm doing the math right, you could have 28 and a half thousand BTUs of cooling capacity in a one slide white skin camper that is already very heat repellent because white reflects light instead of absorbing heat. Um, so if you're going to be camping in some crazy like Texas, Arizona heat or something like that, this is a camper that, man, you want to be breathing icicles? You'd be breathing icicles. Now every RV has an Achilles heel and I don't mind pointing those out. I want you to know what you're getting for your money because let's face it, there's less expensive ways you could spend a weekend, right? If you're thinking about RVing, this is a big decision, and I want you to, to be happy and get your second camper the first time. So I like to close the slide and show this stuff in road mode. And in this one, you find out very quickly, yes, the kitchen is awesome. Yes, the bedroom is great. This is nap and snack-tastic, but you do lose the bathroom access in transit. So if you appreciate how we take the time to kind of close things up and show you around the RV, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our videos, and leave me a little comment So hey, thanks, nerd. Now, tell me, what is your thoughts on this? A lot of manufacturers have started doing these very asymmetrical nose look packages, and they definitely grab my attention. I, there's something about the symmetry of that, though. There's something about things looking the same on the left and the right. It kind of, it works for me. It just makes, I don't know, it just makes sense. It looks nice, it looks clean. What's funny is this looks kind of classic, and this is a kind of classic floor plan, but both the inside and the outside have just basically been modernized uh, a little bit. Now, we're going to get back to that camp kitchen, but I kind of want to get over here and showcase something I think is really, really cool. If you look up top on the roof, on both the left and the right sides, you will see a 190 watt solar package. This is outfitted with their optional factory solar. Um, and what, what I think is kind of cool about this, like if you don't care about solar, we'll just prep it. You don't have to have solar. But the optional solar package that we're looking at is 380 watts and a 2000 watt inverter over here in a full nice passer. I tell you what, I'm more and more impressed as I go through this with Sunset Trail. They are really showing me something today. Again, similar to Passport, similar to Bullet, we've got that all aluminum uh, cage construction under the bed. But up there, not just 1000, but 2000 watt inverter running to those uh, lightning bolt stickered outlets, which is going to let you run more than just like, uh, uh, you've already, you can already run lights and fans in the RV. I don't need to run lights and fans. If I'm gonna use an inverter, I need it for serious work. And that's what that's going to let you do. Also, not a lot of brands have gone through and um, retrofitted their models to feature even a simple little docking station or wet bay or whatever you want to call it right there. Um, I've seen Bullet do that. I've seen a couple other brands. I know East to West is very good about that. Grand Design is very good about that. Um, it does move a lot of your hookups further away from the park hookup location, but overall at the same time, 
I don't know. It is kind of nice being able to lock your door and have everything put away. Now what I'm trying to do a better job of this year is show you the sewer outlets on this RV. And actually that's one of the things I'm really happy to report on this one. It is a simple one button, or one button, what? No, one outlet sewer station. Your kitchen, your bathroom, everything drains all in one shot right there. Now you saw this has power stabilizer jacks. Those are standard. Um, again, with this being kind of a cousin to a, a, a bullet and a passport, they share a lot of the same engineering. Um, in the past, Sunset Trails did not have a walkable roof. And I wanna to touch on that topic because this RV does have a walkable roof, although you see it doesn't have a ladder. Um, to my knowledge, these are not ladder prepped. I will try to verify that. I was not able to get confirmation before I had to go. When I'm on the ground at our dealerships, I've got a very finite amount of time. I'm only here during working hours and then I have to fly somewhere else, you know, so I have to keep the camera rolling. But this has a walkable roof. I know that because uh, Keystone with Passport and Bullet, when they added the power corner jacks, they also bulked up to a walkable roof. Sunset Trail automatically shares the structural engineering with Bullet and Passport. So that's where they're cousins, they're not clones, but they share the DNA. Now look at the awning on this thing. Look at the awning. This has an amazing patio awning space. The camp kitchen's even covered by the awning. The extra wide entry door um, is well away from the awning arm. So you're not gonna get wicked spritzed in the face when it's raining or something like that. And it's a nice tall uh, outside camp kitchen door here that you can actually just like duck under. Uh, well, not duck under, you don't need to duck under it. That's what I was trying to say. Duck tails, woo. -hoo. Anyway. Um, and it's a full camp kitchen. And I mean that because we've got a full fridge, a sink, and this is another one of those outlets that is prepped and run to the inverter. That sink does go into a holding tank. Um, and if you don't care about the little Capitol grill, slide it shut. Just use this prep space, don't use it, because y'all always have your sales a propane cooker hooker right down below here. Now, oh, actually, um, we're gonna call this bank error in your favor. I don't normally like to be able to see this but you are actually getting to see the double-sided radiant foil that they do run in the belly right there because uh, you know they also run that in the roof. Um, this has an enclosed forced air heated belly radiant package uh, you know, in the belly, I believe up the nose cap and then um, across the roof. So short of some wicked hot freezing, this thing's gonna do pretty darn good over here. And uh, I gotta tell you, you know, the last couple years, I've had more and more people saying, man, why don't you show some sunset trails? I'm, I'm looking at one of these. I'm really finding it attractive. Folks, I get the attraction. This is sharp. Now, up front here on the tongue, you see that little yellow sticker kind of next to the propane tanks right there. I mentioned how this is roof solar ready. I mentioned how you can get a, a pretty nice solar package from the factory if you want it. Um, you can also always use a portable uh, panel with these sunset trails in case you don't have any solar on it right now and just don't want a trickle charge battery or you want to do some light, light boondocking or if you want to supplement the bigger factory solar package. Those portable panels can work with the roof solar so sometimes that's one of the things that's really cool. You can take what the factory's done and crank it up to 11 as you need to. I think we got it. I think we're good. Let me know what you think. I'll leave you a link in the video description as always to check for pricing and availability. And folks, I love my job. You make it fun and I'm going to keep doing it as long as you keep willing to watch. So take care, stay safe, have fun. Best wishes from Bishes, everyone.